Hello, and uh, I'm going to do a slightly different video to uh, what my other videos have been on my uh, channel so far. Mainly been hockey videos, but this is just me talking um, about something that I think is more important than ever, which is mental health, and uh, particularly because of the week it is, uh, Mental Health Awareness Week. Given the kind of current climate and uh, situation, it's really important um, to talk about kind of mental health and uh, to spread that awareness even further. Um, if uh, for some reason I keep kind of veering here, it's because I have my uh, tablet and uh, I kind of give myself um, a couple of things that I want to kind of go through in this video um, and also to kind of keep me on track rather than have like a 30 minute video of me absolutely rambling um, and uh, trying to get kind of a few things that I really want to talk about. Um, spoiler, I'm nowhere near an expert. Um, I, uh, my connection with mental health is uh, the fact that I have personally experienced mental health um, difficulties and, um, and for me, uh, being able to talk about it now, if you just said five years ago, to talk about my own mental health, it's not something I would have done very easily. Um, and I'm not going to go into kind of details in this video about my own mental health difficulties, um, but that's kind of my um, connection to it. Um, so I'm not an expert in any way. Uh, a lot of these things have come from kind of my own experiences. Um, so uh, don't kind of think I'm kind of an expert in uh, psychology or mental health. It's uh, nothing like that. But uh, kind of the thing that I kind of wanted to talk about is kind of a few messages that I want to kind of express um, when we come to uh, this Mental Health Awareness Week and uh, especially in the current climate. And I'm going to be using my uh, tea as um, kind of a prop in some of this. Uh, it still has tea in. Uh, I am enjoying it. So if I occasionally do uh, drink it, then that's going to be the reason. But uh, there's two ways in which I am going to kind of use this. Um, the first one really is about comfort. So comfort, um, I love tea, uh, it's great. Um, and it gives me real comfort um, to have kind of a, a cup of tea in my hand and to be able to have that in front of me. It gives me kind of that comfort um, about kind of where I am and what I'm doing. Um, and most of the time I take tea pretty much everywhere I go, so that's why, because it makes me feel comfortable. Uh, and uh, that's kind of one of the things is about comfort um, and how I'm going to be using this tea. The second one is connection um, and uh, we'll kind of go on to this because I want to give kind of three main points about things that um, I have tried to do um, to help my own mental health um, during this time. Um, and uh, some people who have faced mental health difficulties are facing a real true test um, during the current climate. Um, some people obviously uh, in this time will really be struggling with their own mental health, um, particularly with um, firstly originally obviously staying indoors for a prolonged period of time. Um, that itself is quite daunting for a lot of people. and. Um, that's kind of a really big thing and this is why um, the f kind of first one that I want to get across is trying to stay connected is one of the uh, important things within the climate. People have already been doing it but uh, it's kind of reiterating kind of that idea of um, being able to um, just talk to someone uh, on the other end of the phone. Um, my situation right now, I'm on my own. Uh, I live on my own so uh, um, do I mind? No, uh, personally I've never really minded living on my own but um, I, it is difficult because for however many weeks it's been I haven't been able to see family members and you know very important people to me in my life and uh, that is hard but the idea of obviously kind of picking up the phone and talking to them you know and that's a great thing it's just checking in um, even if it's for again refer back to the tea it's that kind of, do you want to just sit down and have a cuppa? Yeah, okay, it's a little bit different than going to a coffee shop, but, you know, something like that. Um, it's not saying you should kind of say, all oh, right, okay, well, I'm going to speak to you, or this person, I'm going to speak to you in the morning of whenever. Um, it's not about making appointments um, and uh, trying to keep connected to people. Don't feel forced to do it either. Um, some people kind of do 
like this space and need this space to kind of just think and do the things they enjoy. So, you know, um, staying connected is still a really important thing though that's definitely been kind of helping my mental health. Um, even sending a message saying, hello, I hope everything's well, um, to someone you haven't talked to for a while. Something like that. It can go really, um, really far away. Second one, um, I'm just going to scroll up slightly. Uh, second one is consider other people, but also yourself. Um, so, uh, especially kind of, uh, you've got to appreciate that some people will be going through um, a different time to normal. And so some people will uh, obviously be in a uh, different sense to uh, kind of being confined with kind of very few or limited people or no one. So um, be careful about kind of how you sometimes kind of approach um, different situations. But also as well, think about yourself. Um, you know, you, you've got a, uh, um, sometimes even if you're living with someone, you've got to give time for yourself. And uh, there are many ways of kind of trying to do that. Um, one of which is the exercise. So exercise has been really helping me. Um, actually, uh, with enough, actually, uh, I said to myself, I was like, uh, at the start of um, this period, well, I'm going to do this amount of exercise, I'm going to do this amount of day. And actually that kind of went apart. It's a different time. It's a different time. It's a different climate. I think that not forcing yourself to have to do these things. So I used to when I was working. Um, it would be six o'clock. I'd get up and go to the gym and then start work straight away after that. And it's not that anymore. And I've just got into a nice routine of kind of I can do whatever I want when I want, and that's that's a good thing um, right now. So always be flexible. But as well, um, there's a really good resource that I've done. So a CPD, it's been, um, some people have seen it. I'll uh, put a link in the um, description of this. But uh, it's been the UK coaching mental health awareness in sport. And uh, that's been really good to, yes, okay, it applies to sport, but it also applies to kind of those um, individual mental health difficulties that some people are experiencing right now. Um, and uh, even if you're not necessarily uh, a coach, it is actually, you know, it's free right now. It's um, because of this, they've worked to get it as a free. It'd be 18 quid otherwise. So um, I think it's a really good uh, way of being able to look at that. So uh, feel free to kind of have a look at that as well. And uh, the third thing is being a friendly face. So obviously we're allowed out to go do exercise, go and do uh, essential shopping as well. But like, smile at people you know it's it's a weird time um go to the supermarkets and kind of they're being full barriers up it feels like it's a little bit in um in kind of uh passport control sometimes uh, border control and uh just being able to try and uh you know be able to connect to people and just smile you can go a long way just smiling at people and uh, even kind of on i know i've been out running just waving to people um, and just kind of smiling at them who other people are running or if you kind of, you know, keep your um, social distancing, keep over two metres away, just kind of thank someone for kind of moving out of your way or if you move out of their way and they kind of go thank you, you know, it, things like that. But smiling can go such a long way as well. Um, and kind of I've felt that more than anything and I try to, as best I can, smile at people because obviously it's... Uh, very unsure time for a lot of people and just sometimes having a friendly face is something that can kind of pick everyone up. Um, but that again comes back to that comfortability um, but also that connection as well. So uh, those are the kind of two things at the start that I was talking about are kind of constant themes. Um, but the three things uh, kind of covered there um, being staying connected, um, consider others and yourself but also being a uh, friendly face and the whole kind of movement of this is being kind um, and kind of smiling and that can go just a smile can go a long way for some people and um, some people won't be as open as kind of their mental health issues as me this can be as much as a comfort as it is a barrier and uh, this keeps people safe and some people just doing that and dropping their barrier it can be very difficult um, I'm very fortunate that I'm able to do that and uh, be able to be very open about it um, in this uh, kind of current climate but also as well over um, past uh, kind of several years as well I've been more open about that and uh, for me it's been 
helpful. Just because people don't share it um, doesn't mean they haven't got mental health difficulties. Um, so always kind of do those two things. Just try and connect to people, uh, consider themselves, but also yourself, uh, and try and be kind to everyone right now. So thank you for listening. Um, if any of those things obviously helped you, um, then great. If um, Obviously I'll, I'll try to do other videos, um, so I want to do other videos like this, such as my ACL uh, reconstruction and recovery from that, but also other topics as well. So hope you enjoyed this um, and uh, be kind.